The human space observer has come a long way ever since Hans Lippery invented the first ever telescope in 1608. That's right, I'm sure a lot of you probably thought it was Galileo who invented it in 1609, but the Dutch lens maker is credited for being the first person who did. Ever since then, humanity has been eager to learn more about the celestial bodies that exist in the cosmos and what our place is in this universe. Through the years, astronomers have only been able to scratch the surface limited by technology, data, and time. The James Webb Space Telescope is here now to change all of that. This $10 billion state-of-the-art project is a technological masterpiece and will help humanity finally answer some of those questions that have been plaguing our minds. As the Webb Telescope aligns itself to fully function sometime mid-year, it's already been hard at work testing out its equipment in deep space and its initial findings have been fascinating to say the least. The wait is finally over. Welcome to Space Rumor. In today's video, we'll take a look at the James Webb Telescope's findings on its first cosmic observation. A handful of first images. Webb is en route to completing its first phase of the long process of aligning the observatory's primary mirror using the near-infrared camera or the NERC cam instrument. Webb initially took images of a star 258 light-years away in the Ursa Major constellation. This process is expected to take months as the challenge here is to confirm that NERCCAM is ready to collect light from celestial objects and then identify starlight from the objects found in each of the 18 primary mirror segments. To put it in simpler words, the web has 18 mirrors that collect light from distant light sources, in this case, a star, and process the image through the NERC cam. It's kind of like when you put 18 mirrors in your room just to make sure you look great from all angles. Well, sort of. If you're that kind of person who'd have 18 mirrors just for one room. 18 randomly organized dots of starlight were first sighted by Webb. The target star here was HD 84406, and then the starlight was recognized to be from the same star in each of the telescope's 18 primary mirror segments. The Webb's unaligned mirror segments were all reflecting light from HD 84406 at Webb's secondary mirror and into NERCCAM's detectors. The image that came through was a mosaic figure showing the HD84406 in 18 different places due to the unalignment of the mirrors. How did the Webb take these images? February 2nd marks the first time Webb began capturing images. According to a report by NASA, Webb was repointed to 156 different positions around the predicted location of the star and generated 1,560 images using NERCCAM's 10 detectors, amounting to 54 gigabytes of raw data. Now, that's a whole lot of images. They'd need an entire warehouse of hard disks at this rate, and considering this is NASA we're talking about, they probably do. The entire process lasted nearly 25 hours, but notably the observatory was able to locate the target star in each of its mirror segments within the first 6 hours and 16 exposures. These images were then stitched together to produce a single large mosaic that captures the signature of each primary mirror segment in one frame. The images shown here are only a center portion of that larger mosaic, a huge image with over 2 billion pixels. NASA explained further in their report, tedious but necessary. No one can slack in the search for answers. A step in the right direction. The resulting image might look like a simple portrait of blurry stars, but it has now become a critical foundation to the alignment and focus of the web aimed at delivering extraordinary sights of the universe sometime in the middle of this year. For the next few months, the team behind this project will be hard at work to adjust these mirror segments until the 18 images are one big star. 
As you can imagine, the entire web team was ecstatic at how well the first steps of taking images, aligning the telescope, and seeing that like make its way into NERTCAM. This is just the beginning of something amazing. The mosaic image is rich with highly crucial and informative data. The NERTCAM was selected for this operation because of its relatively wide field of view and for its adjustability at higher temperatures compared to other instruments aboard Webb. The decision to use the NERTCAM for the alignment process was made a long time ago, of course. It was all part of the plan. The unit was revamped with special custom components helping the efficiency of the operation. Even though the NERTCAM has worked wonders, there are still some visible artifacts in the alignment images due to the high temperature out there. In due time, these issues will be resolved when Webb is completely functional and aligned. It's just a matter of time before we get to see many more sweet images. HD84406 is in the constellation Ursa Major, or Big Bear, which is not visible from Earth unless you use a telescope. No surprise there. It was a perfect initial target for Webb because of its steady brightness, hence the observatory will always be able to spot it. This would be quite useful if there were any launch or deployment delays affecting the plan. Space Selfie as if the images of HD84406 weren't already enough, NASA also shared a selfie image that the observatory took using a special lens aimed at the observatory's primary mirror to help during the adjustment and alignment process. NASA writes, This selfie was created using a specialized pupil imaging lens inside of the NERTCAM instrument that was designed to take images of the primary mirror segments instead of images of space. This configuration is not used during scientific operations and is used strictly for engineering and alignment purposes. In this case, the bright segment was pointed at a bright star, while the others aren't currently in the same alignment. This image gave an early indication of the primary mirror alignment to the instrument. Imagine taking a selfie with the world's most expensive camera and then multiplying that by 10,000. Yep, that's what this is. The telescope has a long way to go. It's quite evident from the images of HD84406, the telescope has a very long way to go. The first images are going to be ugly, said Jane Rigby, Web Operations Project Scientist, during a news conference while the telescope began the process of preparing its mirrors. As it's worked upon more, Webb's images will only become more accurate, clear, detailed, and more intricate. As planned, the first scientific images are courted to be delivered for the world to view this summer. Strangely enough, the web won't be able to view HD84406 in the future. What's interesting is that once the telescope is focused, this star will be too bright to look at. The team is hoping that we see fairly sharp images by late April. Post that we might not be able to use the web to see more from HD84406. Now that's a lot of hard work to get some overexposed images. All said and done, the scientists are thrilled about the observatory's progress. Along with the tireless work to hone Webb's vision, a secondary simultaneous process is taking place behind the curtains. Because Webb was built to study the universe in infrared light, which also collects as heat, the observatory must be substantially cold to get precise data. NASA scientists estimate that the golden primary mirrors will reach temperatures as low as minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, instruments must be even colder, according to the scientist. Although this is a giant leap for mankind, as the infamous words of Neil Armstrong were said, there's a lot of time before scientists can confirm that Webb is a functional telescope. There's a whole lot more to be done in the coming months to assemble the observatory for full scientific operations using all required instruments. Besides that, it's needless to say, the web team has cleared another hurdle, and with each subsequent image to follow, it will be clearer. Soon, we'll have a completely clear view of the great beyond. It might be a little too early for the guys at the web team to celebrate, and there's still a lot of work to be done, but 
It's great to see that Web is functioning as expected. So, what are your thoughts on Web's first images? Are you eagerly awaiting the full image of the star? And what do you think Webb will reveal about the Ursa constellation? Tell us in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching Space Rumor.